What is happening guys? My name is Jamie and today we are going back to Opeth. That's right guys. Today we are just reviewing their new song uh, Dignity which is from the album in called Venom which is going to be released uh, later in September. They released a song called Dignity or the Swedish version Svetex Prinz. Both versions were pretty interesting in my opinion. Well, first of all, shout out to my lovely patrons on Patreon. You know what? Heart in Hand by Oprah, their first single was fantastic. Like I really enjoyed the song, really enjoyed Michael's vocals in this and the aggressiveness of those guitars with the nice acoustic clean guitar at the end, which was just fantastic. Then comes this song, Dignity or Zvitsken Prinz, whatever you want to call it. Wow, this song is fantastic. Now, I believe this song, it sounds very experimental. Very, it's quite progressive as well. So first of all, the introduction uh, kicks off with Michael gracefully shouting, ah, sort of a layering throughout throughout the introduction. It's just bombastic in your face. Ah, <laughs> the introduction is amazing, but it, it's really allowing you listener uh, to be absorbed in the song already. There are progressive elements throughout the introduction, different time signatures, so they are present as we get a nice lead and an awesome guitar followed by clean acoustic layering in the background. One thing about this song is the introduction of this song is quite long, it's about two minutes, two and a half minutes. It's awesome, it just builds up to the climax of what this song is going to be. The mean heavier sound in my opinion, that may be hard in hand. This is a very in your face song. The introduction transitions into clean guitars and leads on to the verse first. Now Michael's vocals in this angelic throughout the verse verse with a close to drifting drifting off atmospheric experience. This song is very atmospheric, creates that atmosphere. There's a nice guitar melody and ambient tone leads on hit onto heavier gritty guitar and drums. Michael comes in firing using good range in his vocal. He really uses and expresses those vocals, especially throughout the second half of the first verse. Throughout this song, the bass is starting to be heard. The bass is quite prominent as it leads onto the chorus, which is melodic and there's good layering on the vocals. The melody goes very well with his vocals. Dun, 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 dun. The melody does go very well with his vocals. Hand in hand. I love how Michael sings while the instrumentals just go so well with his vocals, which is fantastic. One thing that's slightly disappointing for me, throughout the conclusion of the song, it slightly drops. It drops in the clean section. You feel that something is going to build up and build up, but it doesn't eventuate. And that's just one bit of disappointment throughout the song. But I believe this song also leads on to Heart in Hand. At the end, you have all this crazy, you have this talking and everything like that, which bleeds on to Heart in Hand. What did I think about this song? So my first initial listen, wow, it was really good. Like I really did enjoy it. I love the overall ambient tones throughout this song as well. Michael's vocals are just fantastic, distinctive, rich and warm and in promise. Like this song's about six minutes, it's, a, it's an enjoyable song. I love the transitions of progressive elements. Very progressive, this song. Nice drum fills throughout this song. Reading the lyrics, I have no idea, to be honest, what the lyrics are saying in this. But I overall enjoyed the tone. The production, the mixing was just fantastic. Um, what I really liked was the uh, aggression Michael was incorporating throughout this song as well, especially throughout, especially the second part of the first verse. There was some aggression, and it was also conveying quite a lot of emotion. I really enjoyed the grit this tone of the guitars as well. The melody throughout this song is very catchy in my opinion and it's melodic and straight out tuneful. This song is very balanced, rhythmic and just full with juicy flavour and it was a very cool single. I feel that this song is very experimental, something I've never heard from Opeth before. It's got that heavy gritty style, Opeth still got that signature sound but definitely very experimental, quite progressive. Really loving the layering, the keyboards in the background as well also creating that atmosphere. But do I enjoy Heart in Hand a little bit more? To be honest, Heart in Hand is a fantastic song as well, but I really enjoy Dignity. This was a straight out badass song in my opinion. I loved it. Just the conclusion, it just felt like it was gonna build on and build on to that chorus again, but it didn't eventuate, which was a little bit disappointing. I think they only repeated the chorus once, which also means to me that they were very experimental on this song. But yeah, it was a very cool song. I loved it. It's piercing to your ears as well. Like piercing in a good way and stylish, especially that introduction. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, 
What a way to kick off the song regardless. One thing I gotta tell you as well is that I was a little bit naughty. Yeah, I was a little bit naughty. I checked out My Arms, Your Hearse. I know I should have, I know I should have saved the full reaction, but I checked it out because this is a band that I absolutely love at the moment. They can't do anything wrong in my opinion. So comment below if you want an album review for My Arms, Your Hearse because uh, that was such an amazing album as well. Yeah, Opeth can't do any wrong in my opinion. They just release fantastic music. There's not one bad Opeth song I can name, to be honest. Maybe apart from Atonement, but even that's growing on me as well. So, um, guys, I hope you did enjoy this Dignity track review. Comment below if you enjoyed this review. Uh, also, comment below if you enjoyed the song as well. Keep the discussion going in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next